Dale Jr., are you ready for one last week of To The Rescue? Because today, the To The Rescue series ends. And in this, we've been learning all about how we were created by God to help other people. And I hope during this series, you've been thinking of special ways that you can help others around your house and around town and things like that. So if you haven't, think about that today. How can you help someone else? Well, let's sit up real tall because we've got one more week in To The Rescue. happened at school today. Today was Community Helpers Day, so we had a bunch of special helpers come to see us. There was a veterinarian, a librarian, a police officer, and a firefighter. And they said, kids, you can look for ways to help others too. That's what I'm doing now, looking for ways to help. Hmm, maybe I can bake cookies to welcome our neighbors down the street. Or maybe I could take out the trash, even when it's not my turn. 
Or maybe I can leave a cold bottle of water out for the mail carrier when it's super hot outside. Hmm, what else can I do to help? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Looking for ways to help, are you? I am, Ollie. Can I help you with anything? I don't need help right now, thank you. But keep looking and you'll find someone to help. It's true. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hola, friends. <laughs> I am Luis the Handyman. I was out on a walk today when I saw my friend's mailbox was broken. So, I'm going to fix it. I love looking for ways to help. That's the sign for help. Can you do it with me? Great job. Oh, that reminds me. I have an awesome story from the Bible about someone who looked for ways to help. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready, uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a well. A well is a deep hole in the ground where people can go to get water. People like this woman. This is Rebecca. One evening, Rebecca went to a well to get water. When she got there, she saw a man at the well with 10 camels. The man asked Rebecca if she would share her water with him. Rebecca was happy to help, and she gave him some water. But that's not all she did. She looked for other ways to help. Rebecca saw that the man had 10 camels, and they needed water too. So she got water for the camels. All 10 of them. Wow! Rebecca looked for ways to help. She helped the man and even his camels too. <gasps> Hooray for helping! <laughs> God made all of us to look for ways to help too. Where can we look for ways to help? We can look for ways to help at the park. We can look for ways to help at school. We can look for ways to help at home. We can look for ways to help everywhere. Rebecca looked for ways to help, and we can too. God made you and me to help others. Hooray for helping! <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there is your story, and it's all true. We can look for ways to help each day. Me and you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God made us to help others, and we can find so many ways to help when we look. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Now, where should I look for ways to help? Oh, I know. I'll go home and see if anyone needs help there. See you next time. Bye.
we have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32.8 We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32.8